Hi everyone, thanks for joining us. A Bemidji police officer and a Beltrami County Sheriff's deputy have been cleared in the November shooting death of a Red Lake man. After investigation from the Bureau of Criminal Apprehension and the Beltrami County Attorney's Office. Reporter Sherelle Moore is live in studio with details. Sherelle? Thank you, Dennis. The BCA and the Beltrami County Attorney's Office looked at various pieces of evidence before coming to their final conclusion. The Attorney's Office also released body cam and dash cam video from that night. We want to warn you that some of our viewers may find the following video disturbing. The night started with Bemidji Police Officer Battle Duran performing a traffic stop. During the stop, he was informed that one of two passengers in the car, Vernon May, had a warrant out for his arrest. Duran called for backup before attempting to arrest May. Sheriff Deputy Brandon Newhouse arrived and noticed May had a gun. A struggle ensued for control of the gun, during which May could be heard yelling, shoot me. It was a tragedy that um, we lost. Um, a member of our community, um, but at the same time, um, he was um, someone who was posing a, a, a true risk um, of life. The BCA and Beltrami County attorney believe Officer Duran, in fear of his life, made the decision to shoot May. A total of 10 shots were fired, nine from Officer Duran and one from Deputy Newhouse. Mr. May can be seen with his right hand on the grip of the gun, and Mr. or Officer Duran can be seen with his left hand uh, attempting to wrestle the gun away. Video evidence was only one part of the investigation. The BCA also spoke to seven witnesses and combed through different audio recordings. There was um, the statements of both the officers. There was two, there was two individuals in the car uh, as well. They gave statements that corroborated the officer's statements. There was a third officer outside of the vehicle that uh, saw a portion of it. And then uh, there were a couple um, people in the area that had heard the shots, but they didn't really see much happening. The Beltrami County Attorney's Office cites Minnesota Statute 609.66 in his determining of finding the officer's actions justified. He says the case is closed and will not be revisited. Once I've made my determination at this point, um, I, I've reviewed all the evidence. Uh, the BCA's file is closed and um, they presented all their evidence to me. I reviewed it and um, I've made my decision. Officer Duran also revealed in his interview with the BCA that May was pointing the gun at him during the altercation. Officer Duran also noted that May was acting strange based off previous interactions Duran had had with May before. Dennis, back to you. All right, thank you very much, Sherelle. An autopsy report also revealed that, many ha uh, that May had several drugs in his system at the time of his death, including meth, fentanyl, and amphetamines. Both Officer Duran and Sheriff's Deputy Newhouse's toxicology reports came up clean. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.